<sighs> well, things are not looking so hot. I got canceled online, still don't have a job, and I've been left on red for weeks. Oh yeah, Nichiban's not doing great either. Uh, we're back with infinite wealth like a dragon. What the dump is that? Man, I guess things must have been pretty good for something like this to get approved. Yeah, there were big plans for it. The pandemic hit right as it was picking up steam. Construction companies went under. All that was left to show for it was a couple of steel frames. Oh, they're making like a... Yeah, I see what's happening. There's an actual foundation there, but... They didn't finish it, so now they're just making do. And the boys swooped in and took over. Tough guys they are. Bleach Japan had taken over the town. They'd never let this slide. So. To the homeless folks here, I'll bet this is like their own triumphal arch. Huh? A monument to their victory. It's more like a castle, if you ask me, Ichiban. You gotta stop doing that. Have you guys ever played Dragon Quest? Actually, uh, if we could change subjects... Where on the street is, they call this place Castle Keep. By the look of it, I'd say that fits. A castle without a lord, huh? Can't have that. Hey. Hey, big guy. Can I help you fellas? Hey, chief. Been a while. Something tells me you're not here just to see me. Yes. Well, actually, we want to ask you something. We deliver the sake to chief, and he agrees to show us the way to Seryu's HQ. Okay, chief. Where are you taking huh? us? Uh, say, chief, what's all this about? So. Like I said, you wanted a back door and this is it. The sewers? Uh, boss, I think... <laughs> How's your vision going? That's, that's a pile of sewage. Yeah, in the middle of winter, no less. Adachi, I gave you the route. You got it down? I do. Not exactly jazzed about it, though. Are you too crazy? The old heart's not built for sewer surfing. Costa, there's gotta be some other way. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's the only way in. Sorry, but it's the only way I'm aware of. <sighs> Guess there's no choice. Unreal. I should have left a will <laughs> no. or a bucket list. Don't get so down, Namba. This is nothing compared to what we've already been through. When you think about it like that, now, I beg to differ. Whatever. Diver down. Then. Is that like a... Is that a reference? Can't be. Can it? I don't know. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Oh. You got it. Showtime. Here goes. Yippee. <laughs> He's jumping unison. <laughs> Why that looks so silly. Uh, uh, just leave me. Uh, I can't swim anymore. It's like we can get up from there. Hang in there, Nama. I can't have a JRPG without a sewer level, am I right? Cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so that was his imagination, too. Those guys are dead. Oh, hey. Are you guys like the Metapod equivalent? Is that what's going on here? That is exactly what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not the most uh impressive. It's just so stupid. <laughs> and in we are. That was pretty uneventful sewer <laughs> level, I'm not gonna lie. But. It looks like we were able to sneak in. Where are we? The Seiryu clan courtyard? The chairman's room's up there, right? Yeah, no way I'd forget it. Man, that takes me back. <laughs> it was just us three. First time we came here. Yeah, starting off the same way. Whoa, hey! The hell did you oh. come from? Enough nostalgia. Uh, what are the chances? I was about to go down there and uh, take a whiz. So much for getting nostalgic, huh? Afraid of toilets, you see. Right. I guess it's a fight then. Man, I figure we're gonna do now lots of fighting. Rock and roll! Adachi san! Damba! Hmm. Oh, we got a new move. Grand Liner. The further away from your target, the harder you'll hit. Okay. So, max distance. Ooh! Ooh! What the? That's cool! Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're back. It's not as destructive as Dragon Engine, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> gonna say that's like my favorite feature of judgment 
<laughs> oh, Sasaki! We're beating up like 30 people to save you. Do you even want to be saved? I, I think I think we should ask that before doing all this. Mm, that's mahogany. You, if he ain't in here, he ain't nowhere. That's how video games work. Barge in here. Nobody sneaks into Saryu HQ and gets away with it. You three are dead meat. Damn it. German's room's right there, too. Shit. What's the plan, Ichiban? This guy's on a good one. <laughs> He's just what we wanted. After all, every dungeon needs a tough boss at the end. <sighs> Sega, you don't have to keep making these references. <laughs> we get it. Hard. What do we do? Knock him down. Maybe we can toss him around. Uh, okay. So maybe pick up the yeah, this stuff. No. Will back attack work? Breaking guards. You can use grapple skills to break through defenses. Okay. Oh, that's a cool. Dang, this is all they needed to do. So monkey flip. Oh, I want him to flip around like a monkey. <laughs> I don't think you can do that with his back. This is such an anime attack. I forget. <laughs> like, it's just... <laughs> Dude, you're gonna mess up the rubber on that thing. Come on. Gotta protect your blade. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh my god. Wait, QT's during a boss fight. Like this. I'm down. I'm really down. I'm pretty impressed because they did not rest on their laurels. I don't even know if like anyone had any criticism about the battle system except for... Me, because I'm a giant nerd. But like the positioning attacks, the back attacks, like picking up like stuff in the environment, that that, that works. That's cool. Because with the perfect guard and everything, like they, they have a decent system. Can they keep this momentum going for the whole game though? I really hope. Peekaboo! Alright. Chairman's just passed here, yeah? Yeah. Stay on your toes. Wait, who's even the chairman? Have we discussed that? All right, we'll see that it's settled before next week's meeting. Did he just shoo me? Oh, I guess he's busy. Precisely. We'll accept their proposal. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, take a seat. What is happening? Is that all? Very well. I'll be in touch. He turned his back to us, like what? That's kind of weird. <clears throat> My apologies. I had to see that through. I've been managing things in Chairman Takabe's absence. I am Ebida. The clan captain. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ichiban Kasuga-san. Is it though? Sure didn't give me a warm welcome. I guess he's kind of, you know, in his place now. He beat up half his crew. So... So what? You hear about us from Takabe or something? Yes. I've heard a great deal too. <laughs> and Takabe, he's still locked up, right? In short, one of ours got busted and the chairman took the brunt of it. He's set to be released in two years. Okay. That checks what out. What about you? You're filling in for him while he's away, right? I don't remember seeing you around before. New recruit? I'm a new addition. Oh. I didn't join the Seryu until after the Great Dissolution. And you're already captain? You sure climbed the ladder fast. Based on that, you must be pretty good. You flatter me. But you see, with the death of the previous chairman and the chaos that followed the Great Dissolution, well, the fact of the matter is we were short-handed. To be even more blunt about it, my promotion was based entirely on how well I earned. As a Yakuza, however, that's not really something to be proud of. Hey, you're humble, at least. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. Chairman Takabe told me what you did for the Serial Clan, among others. The e Gene 3 are all very much indebted to you. Please excuse me for not reaching out sooner. Oh, come on. Yeah, Took time. appreciate you rolling out the red carpet. We take security matters quite seriously here. Unless I give explicit permission, any intruders are to be eliminated on sight. Unfortunately, it seems there was a delay in giving orders, even after I'd confirmed it was you. What? Maybe relax ever. your grip on the place then, huh? One wrong move and we'd be feeding the fish right now. Huh. If I told my men to stand down first thing, I would never have seen our heroes of Yokohama. 
in action. What an actual joke. As acting head of the I, Seriu clan, uh, it's my responsibility to determine who we do business with. Like, do you believe Surely this guy? Understand. Well, I guess we're the ones who barged in. Wouldn't be right for us to complain about No, he, that's, no, he's out of line. You have my thanks. <sighs> Water under the bridge, whatever. Anyway, ebina son, the reason we came here. Yes, I'm aware. That's about Sasaki-san. Is that right? <laughs> that certainly saves us some time. Where do you think we're headed? Maybe the mountains? You know, so they can bury us in the woods? <laughs> far from it. We're en route to a warehouse at the wharf. He's that far away? And we gotta go all the way to the harbor just to talk about Sasaki? What's going on? Well, seeing is believing, as they often say. After the Great Dissolution four years ago, even some Seryu clan members were ready to leave the Yakuza life behind. Chairman Takabe, in light of this, encouraged them to do just that. However, one major obstacle stands between an ex-Yakuza and the outside world. The five-year ex-Yakuza clause, right? Yeah, correct. As long as that's in place, former Yakuza are unlikely to find decent work, forcing many onto the streets. Knowing what might await them, the first thing the chairman did was provide a way one might make an honest living. Really? And what's that? You'll see. In fact, we're almost there. You could just tell us, dude. Ah. <laughs> uh, no, he's, he, he was right. We're almost there. We bought the warehouse the Liu Mang had been using some time ago. Wait, the one It's here we gather trash from all four corners of the globe. Wait, literal trash? No, this is... What is this? Those are saves? What the... What are you doing? Trash? I say trash, but in reality, it's a little more complicated than that. It always is. Rather... It's things one can no longer afford to keep. For example, we might receive evidence of a president's adultery or illicit money transfer records. A scholar may call them pieces of history. But to others, <laughs> they are cursed objects meant to be destroyed. Cursed object, eh? As to our part, we secretly store these controversial trinkets for safekeeping. Why? And should the client request it, we'll dispose of their trash without hesitation. Why wouldn't they just do it's that? It's our duty to make clients I... feel safe. That they might entrust their disposables to this island nation we call Japan. But no, really, why not throw it out? It's like a giant safety deposit box. Precisely. Each storage container is lined with lead, so even x-rays can't make out their contents. In addition, the interiors are also vacuum sealed to prevent degradation. Naturally, that demands a rather high premium, but we still find ourselves with new inventory almost every day. That just doesn't make sense, but I swear. What will you Yakuza think up next? I guess there's a demand. Oh, I don't this know. This isn't just some Seryu clan racket. It's our front corporation. Right, so this is where you're sending those who want out? Yes. The Omi and Tojo's dissolution changed everything. Many Yakuza who are unable to reintegrate into society have since returned. Not everyone can weather those five long years. And thus, the Yakuza is all they have. Whatever their reasons, it's estimated they number over 10,000. There's still that many? Oh my god. Far as they're concerned, the best option is to side with smaller local groups like the Seryu clan. Provided at least one organization remains, they will no doubt continue to seek them out. For this reason, Chairman Takabe plans to coordinate with all remaining Yakuza clans and quickly dissolve them as well. Uh, uh, what? You mean all at once? So the Yakuza isn't really The Yome over. Alliance of Hiroshima, <sighs> the Kitikata family of Hokkaido, the Ryudo family of Okinawa. There's still some left. Those are just the start as he's secretly in touch with many other groups as well. He's aptly called this plan the Second Great Dissolution. 
I'm gonna be honest, that name sucks. Should it succeed, then the Yakuza will truly be a thing of the past. Okay, I mean... I have been acting on his behalf. Carefully advancing the plan while he's away. Never knew Takabe had his sights set so high. In order to avoid the hardship caused by the first dissolution, the second will only be carried out once we've secured enough jobs. To that end, we've been expanding our business in numerous areas. Frankly, not all of them have been successful. But we can't afford to let that slow us down. We must give all we have to the task at hand. I don't know if I... Do you trust him? So the like... second great dissolution. When exactly are you guys planning to pull the trigger? Why would they tell us? Oh, when the time is right. That's all I can say for now. Hmm. Okay. You've told us so much already, even though we just met. But seriously, it means a lot. Sure, up you don't backstab us. Kasugazan. Atachi san. Like, you know, tra trap us in there? I'm like... well aware of all the work you two have done in rehabilitating former Yakuza. Oh, really? Okay. That said, I am also aware of your current predicament. Are you trying to sign us up? Huh? I mean. Despite this, let me assure you that our goals are the same. Masumi Arakawa's last wish. His incredible dream of giving every last Yakuza a chance at normal life. Would you entrust that to us? I mean... Kasuga-san, Adachi-san. Sounds like regardless Sasaki. of what I do. Guess you really were here after all, huh? Yeah, you're gonna keep doing this. Uh, I'm sorry, I, uh... <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, I came here with the intent of joining the Seiryu clan. Uh, but thankfully, Ebina-san said I could stay a civilian. You've got nothing to apologize for. If you're okay with this, then you have my support. But then there's that ominous... We will take responsibility. ...sent in the background. And look after Sasaki-san from here on. Mm. Is that all right with you? Oh, Honestly, you it's not. amazing what you guys have done. Makes me wonder why I even bothered trying to do it on my own. Anyway, Ebina-san... I ultimately just want to say thank you. This might sound kind of presumptuous of me, but if I may, could I ask you see this through? That no man gets left behind? Yes, of course. I'll see that it's done. Well, alrighty. Sounds like everything's gonna work out. Going? As they often do in these games, right? Provided you still have time, there's someone I'd like you to see. Yeah. I mean, sure. I've got nothing but time right now. Glad to hear it. In that case, allow me to give him a call. That won't be necessary. Hey, what? Is that... <laughs> well then, it would appear he's already here. That sounds familiar. Whoever that is. No way. Joe? How'd you get out of jail? It's been a while. Ichi. Hey, you're with him? Holy shit. Captain Sawashiro. I I guess they got the actor back. <laughs> Seeing as Joe didn't just like, you know, whip out a gun and start firing, I think, uh... Wait, we're actually going to Hawaii now. Yeah, I think we're in the clear. Like, I don't know. Seems like a dubious business, but... Like, it's not totally illegal, right? Uh, uh, you don't gotta do that anymore. No, no, no. that's fine. <laughs> Old habits die hard, huh? I guess they do. He was the nicest guy. We, he almost <laughs> killed me, but he, no, that's that's actually just about it. Like he's just <laughs> Captain Soashiro. I, I thought you were in the slammer. W what are you doing here? You were found guilty. You killed the Seiryu chairman. In case you forgot. In the case the viewer forgot. Look, there he is, he's dead. As far as Ebbing is concerned, you're public enemy number one, right? Or am I? At a glance, I'd say he's treating you like the opposite. Yeah, how are they gonna worm their way out of this one? You know, for a dumbass, you're pretty perceptive, huh, Ichi? And I see you're at it with that. Would it kill you to be nice for once? I know, right? <laughs> I guess old habits really do die hard. So they do. So, uh, what exactly is going on? 
Well, long story short, I wasn't the one who killed Chairman Hoshino four years Wh ago. Whatever. What? There's no way they explain this. I... Like, I get it. They want to bring back the actor, but come on. He clearly did. I'm gonna kill you, or am I? He's already dead. Wow. Right? <sighs> yeah. Then who, who actually killed him? Awful late to the party, aren't you? Your master? <laughs> Seems even Hoshino got sick of waiting. Young master, what have you done? Yeah, I should be asking you. The ruthless Captain Sawashiro I once knew never dragged his ass. He was taking too long? But I have a theory. So he did it? You let it slip that someone was after the old man's head. Didn't you? Oh, so he wouldn't have to do it. Maybe? If all went according to plan, Ichiban would come save the day before you made the hit. That's what you were banking on, right? Well, change of plans. I see. So you sent a guy in ahead of me to ensure the job was done. I'll make sure the credit goes to you. Oh, how, how nice of you. If it gets around that you off the Seiryu clan chairman, <laughs> well, you're sure to impress a cellmate or two. What? So then... That means I'd lost your trust some time ago, young master. You're wrong there, Sawashiro. You never had my trust to begin with. That, okay, that's not a total, like, you know, pull it out of your butt moment, but... Still. I guess he never did use the gun during the boss fight with Ichi. Too busy whacking us with that goddamn game, but yet again the weakest plot twist in the youngest. <laughs> it's not even a plot twist. Well, all right then, I'm kind of kind of glad he's back. I don't know. I can forgive a lot. If he truly didn't do anything. Then Ichiban busts in. Yeah. So someone else got to him before you even had the chance. Right. Then the young master played you as well. And even knowing that, you still took the fall. Right, you didn't have to. Well, I can't deny I was on my way to kill the chairman. Maybe I did pray for a sort of miracle. That by some chance I wouldn't have to. But it would have been too shameless of me to plead innocence. You had your reasons. I'm sure a lot was going through your head at the time, yeah? Well, that's true. I suppose I was trying to atone for my sins somehow. I, I guess, I believe it. was it, clear but... the young master. Uh, no. Yeah. My own son was only sinking deeper into the abyss. I oh my god. Him, and Arakawa-san's death was a direct result of that. Oh, that was flattering picture. In truth, I might have prevented it. But instead, I pushed him to do it. So this is way is taking accountability. Okay. In a weird kind of way. I could have sworn he was sentenced for life. How'd he get out? Because he didn't do it. The, the gun. Once they put me in prison, I thought you I'd know. just be counting down the rest of my days. It wasn't his. Didn't match his uh, bullets. But someone put that countdown on hold. That someone was Ebina. A man claiming to be his attorney came to visit. He told me he could prove me innocent. That he wanted to appeal for a retrial. So Ebina knew the truth? Did he know about Chairman Hoshino? That there was another killer? Yeah. He's a sharp one, that guy. Real young, full of energy type. He did everything he could to get me out of prison. It was all to serve his goal. To start up the second great dissolution. You even heard it yourself just now. Arakawa still had a lot more to do before he passed. I get it. You couldn't be the one Yakuza left out of all this. So we had to save you too? <laughs> no way. I'm the guy that turned from the Tojo to the Omi, incited a war, and went on an all-out rampage in the process. Uh, uh, yeah? 
Get someone like me on your leash? And even a fresh face like Ebina's sure to turn a few heads. Oh, it wasn't so noble after all. To keep the strays in line, you need someone who can bark over them. I suppose that's why he brought me in. Okay, that makes sense. Sounds like you got the short end of that one. I mean, he's out of jail, DG. I'd say it's the perfect job for me. <laughs> all things considered. If nothing else, it sure beats pretending to atone for my sins in some cell. Captain. I had asked Ebina to bring you here tonight, but it wasn't so I could talk about myself. I know I have no right, Ichi, but I have a favor to ask you. A favor? From me? It's a rush job, too. Mm. Let me hear it first. I don't exactly want to bite off more than I can chew, you know? Right. Well, as I understand it, you're fresh out of a job, right? How'd you know? I'm sure you'll find the time. What? Are you guys spying yeah. on me now? Does everyone... Oh, no. It was all online. Okay. That checks out. Hmm? Oh, that's so, what... So, Zawashiro asks you a favor, and without any clue as to what it is, you run off and snag a passport. Sir, yes, sir. Hey, that's why we're going to Hawaii? That's one way to put it. Well, whatever his favor is, I imagine you'll be heading overseas, right? Passport ain't good for much else. Dang, you are a good detective. He's gonna fill me in later today. Said he'll be waiting at Heian Tower. Are you gonna be okay by yourself? I mean, can we really trust Sawashiro? You know, I think if he was gonna hurt me, he'd have done it by now. That's a fair point. Not only that, I'm out of work, with plenty of time to spare. Figured I'd just go meet him. Yeah, what do we have I'd to lose? I feel bad turning him down at this point, especially after <clears throat> he came to me for help. Ah, oh, dog. Guess you're we're too... all going to Heian Tower then. He's too loyal. <laughs> You're not the only one with time on his hands, after all. Uh, but no, I, I I, don't see him getting shot. I mean, he could have done that a lot earlier. Well, all right. Captain Sawashiro is waiting at Heian Tower. That's how I figure out what this big news is. Before that, did anyone else see this in the cutscene? Who is, is this? <laughs> Ichiban. Uh, what, 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 what is all this? What the dump? I'm not going to judge Ichiban, but that is a schoolgirl uniform. I don't What the? <sighs> they just added the best feature in the entire game. Yes, you can just fast travel anywhere from the... No fooling. Oh my god, that's such a bit... That is, that is just amazing. That is without a doubt the feature I wanted the most from, you know, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Because, man, the amount of times I went to, like, pick up freaking ants and then take them all the way to the goddamn blacksmith. Ugh. It was, a, it, was a lot of, it was a lot of hours. It was very necessary. So the fact that that's in, man, I'm a happy camper. Rev up them fryers, because I sure am hung. Uh, to think there'd come a day when we'd share a meal here. I don't see no food, though. I'll say. Still, <laughs> I assumed it'd just be us. Actually, they're here on Ebina's orders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I made a lot of enemies before getting arrested. Plenty of people out there still hate my guts, it seems. I can't believe... I can't understand why. Oh, I did what you asked. Got my passport right here. Ah. Uh, excellent. Did we just come here so we could use the whole, like the spinning table thing? Like, oh, uh, that's never a good sign. So, uh, what's this favor you're asking? I'm sending you to Hawaii. There's someone there who wants to meet you. Hawaii? Uh, who is it? Well, uh, it's your mother. It's just saying it like that. What? Oh, Ichi, I She's thought you knew. the one woman the <laughs> boss truly loved. Akane-san. Uh, what? Wait, that's... You, you never told me this. Just so we're clear here. Yes, you are indeed the boss and Akane-san's child. All right, thanks for clearing that, that up. fateful day 40 years ago, I saw everything with my own eyes. On that day, two babies at the coin lockers were sadly mistaken for one another. I mean, the game always left it sort of ambiguous. Like, there could have been three babies in the coin locker. No, I'm just playing. But like, yeah. Sawashiro, I guess, now that he's out, he looked into it a little more? It's a possibility. In a perfect world, you would have been raised as Masato Arakawa, 
the boss's own flesh and blood. You were, of course, replaced with... <sighs> the son I abandoned. If you hate me for it, you're welcome to say so. You have every right. Oh, I sound so sincere. Can't even be upset. You know, I've always had two fathers. Jiro Kasuga at the Shangri-La Soapland, and by oath, Masumi Arakawa. For what it's worth, that's all I needed. Maybe you're right. That said, what about your mother? Right, uh, so, uh, this Akane-san lady is... Yes, she's your mom. No, but Akane-san, I, I heard she was killed. Heck, Arakawa-san told me himself. The Hikawa family hunted her down. You know, the guys Arakawa-san used to run with. Right, well, that may be what the boss believed. But it's not entirely true. Okay, because Lord knows each month been <sighs> lied to enough in this franchise. the boss's departure. The patriarch of the Hikawa family hoped marry Arakawa-san to his daughter. That's how much he liked him. You might even say the patriarch wanted him as his heir. But as fate would have it, the boss was already together with Akane-san. So he had to fearfully turn down the offer. Right. That was it. And the patriarch's rage upon hearing the news was more than the boss could have ever imagined. In a sudden turn, he tried to kill both the boss and Akane-san, who at the time was pregnant with you. Okay, makes sense. Her lies from Arakawa himself. He also said Akane didn't make it. He couldn't protect her. So, how did you figure all you this see, out? The boss had heard Akane-san was caught by the Hikawa family. But he never saw her body for himself. He kept believing she was out there. And so he strung up one Hikawa member after another. But by then, it was too late. And the order to kill Akane-san had already been passed on to the contractors. Contractors? Professional hitmen. So now they were on the hunt too. The Hikawa Patriarch was playing all his cards. All that to kill Akane-san? Just her alone? Crossing the Yakuza carries a heavy toll. Surely, mm. I don't have to tell you that. Right. Mm. Yeah, I know. It was then Arakawa made one last move. And in order to save your mom, he raided the Hikawa family HQ all by himself. What? No way. I mean, it's not been the first time something like this has happened in the series, but... We're getting Arakawa lore. Still. Arakawa! <laughs> Might have killed 40 of us! Here's 40 more! Going straight to hell, you damn traitor! He's, he's barehanded. No, 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 okay, he's got a weapon. And then about one dude charging... Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, I just gotta say, going on boss. If anybody can go, like, it's him, dude. <laughs> He's enamored. They love the choreography for this one. How, even, how did that even? How did he get his hand? Are you following this? You, no, you need that, bro. Hold up. Get through his weapon. I'm not sure why. I'm scared. Oh. Come on, dude. Uh -oh. But he did all this, and then he ends up with the cruddiest family in Kamurocho? I don't know. Make that make sense. 
I guess he was old, but... Akane, where is she? Old man. Wherever she may be, she won't have much longer to live. You're joking. The hounds are already on her trail. And once they sniff her out, it's feeding time. Down to the very last bone. Whether I live or die makes no difference. My orders are absolute. It's got ego to the end. I mean, I would have lied, honestly. Make new orders. Tell whoever you hired. You're calling it off. The plan's already in motion. Give it up. As far as I'm concerned, you crossed the point of no return a long time ago. Did you forget? Where the fuck is Akane? No longer in the country. She's bound for the Philippines. Stowed away on some shady looking cargo ship, it seems. Imagine a pretty little thing, no. I lonesome. With hardly a yen to her name. Shut up. Surely she has to earn her keep somehow. God dang. I hear life at sea is quite demanding. But it's the men that see you I'd be concerned about. <laughs> Bet you they're lined up as we speak. Shit! You piece of shit! <laughs> what? Tell your men to stand down! I mean, he might as well. Dead just like you, he <laughs> He does not That's care. The spirit, Arakawa. Oh, I've been wanting to see that face. To hear you scream like that little brat you are. Make the call. Do it already. I have a rotary phone. I can't. Without fingers. <laughs> Like, oh, one really has to wonder, though. How bad is your bitch holding up? Ew. Sega, what? The boss continued torturing the Hikawa Patriarch until he breathed his last. But no matter what he did, the madman kept on laughing. Till the bitter end. My god. Hikawa endured so much, but I mean, that guy, he had a coming. And I don't know. End, he never found out where Akane san was. And now he had no chance of calling off her pursuers. But wait, he knew she was headed for the Philippines, right? There had to be something he could do. There was. He flew to the Philippines as soon as possible, and once he formed his own family, his subordinates joined the search, but nothing ever turned up, and the years just kept passing by. He had it caught off eventually. He came to believe that if Akane's son were alive, she would have contacted him. That day never came, so he and the rest of us assumed the worst, though no one ever said it out loud. Man. Well, then how'd you find her? Like, what the dumb? He made his own army in the Philippines, like... Eh? Uh? Here. It's the photo of Akane-san the boss had us carry around. What? I can't imagine you've seen it. I'm gonna see his mom for the first time. This is her? I mean, I know we're going to Hawaii. Akane-san? For all this? Uh, 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 <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know how to say it, but she looks like a mom. She's native Hawaiian. Albeit with some Japanese blood mixed in. Then I have that blood too? Guess that's how it goes. <laughs> you need a history lesson or a biology lesson? This woman's the boss loved. Ten years had passed since Akane's son went missing. Then, one day, the boss got an emergency call. It was from an officer of a Filipino group we had dealings with. He found a girl in Hawaii. Looked just like her. Then that mean 
maybe she moved back home at some point. Yeah, we'd been looking at that angle too, as you might have guessed. But the boss never knew where exactly in Hawaii she was born. That might be why we still came up short. So you went there to take a look? To find Akane-san? So as I got word, I was on the first flight out. Wow. It was just me, though. The boss stayed behind. Why? What? Why didn't he go with me? If I can afford to be blunt, it's because he was afraid. He'd had enough. A man can only have his hopes built up so many times. The stronger and more promising the lead, the bigger the hurt when it all fell through. I see. It makes sense. But dude, anyway, he, off I went. He died never knowing. Like, that's so sad. I can't even... Eventually, I found her. Uh, uh, it was Akane's son, no doubt about it. Yeah, and she was safe and sound? Dang, those headmen suck. She was. <laughs> about as safe as you can get. Granted, uh, that presented a bit of a problem for me. Oh, yeah. W would you, wait, you didn't tell him? Huh? What are you talking about? Say, all went well, and she returned to the boss. Akane's son would inevitably <gasps> want to meet her child. Oh. And in that case, she'd quickly see that her son's been living with a handicap since the transfer at the coin locker. Now, she might at first say that just being able to reunite is enough. But eventually, she'd want to know about his condition. And she'd probably ask how that happened. Wait, so you're saving your Before own Before long, she and the boss would be comparing their memories from that night. And they figure it out. Then it had hit. They'd realize they transferred their baby at different lockers. How then would they treat Masato Arakawa, the young master, the boy they believed was theirs? Uh, well, oh. no one truly knows what would have happened. But I did know this. As long as Akane-san kept out of Japan, everything here'd stay the same. Neither I nor the young master would have to suffer. Wait, then you... You flew out to Akane-san too? No. What are you talk? What's going on? Exactly. When I saw Akane-san, I was planning to kill her. But, I mean, he didn't. So it's fine. It's fine, right? Like, he... Uh, he might have tried, though. Hey, even I couldn't help trembling. I had every intention to get rid of the woman the boss loved. I don't know, man. Joe, I, I was kind of however pushing for Joe, but this is too I far. I ended up walking away. All thanks to something she said. If anyone asks, I've been dead a long time. Huh? Okay. And Akane-san. Has kids out there? Ichiban's got half brother. It shouldn't come as a surprise if you think about it. A young girl on the run from hired killers. With absolutely no hope of contact from the man she loved. Yeah, she had no choice but to move on. Who could blame her for anything? From then on, it was her life to live. Should we even go see her? Like, why would you make me go? So I decided to honor her wishes. I gave word to the boss that Akane-san was dead. I told him the Hikawa family had reached her first. That all I'd found was her lifeless body. Nothing more. The boss quietly accepted my report. The search for Akane-san was called off. And she was never spoken of again. <sighs> After that, I stayed in contact with her, though sparsely. I needed some control over her so that she wouldn't suddenly get homesick for Japan. You see. You're a certified asshole. <laughs> Still, I get that this all started because of what Akane-san said. I'm not saying everything you did was wrong. He's making it up for now. We're well, trying to. With the boss now dead, and me out of prison, the situation has changed. I wrote a letter to Akane-san. 
I told her everything there was to know. So she's she's waiting for how her. I betrayed the boss, and that Ichiban Kasuga, the boy who grew up in a soap land, was her child. Ironic, isn't it? Neither I nor Akane-san were finally free until long after the boss was gone. <sighs> Anyhow, Ichi, Akane-san, she tells me she wants to meet you. Uh, oh my god, she does? Me? I mean, understandable, Akane -san's but... Akane-san's home address. Just hit me. It's right there on the front. Like no fooling. Is this a letter from Akane-san? It's just the envelope. The letter was to stay between me and her. I'm afraid I can't show it to you. Wait, what? Uh, sure, I get that. Cool, I could have yeah. seen envelope. Oh. Sure, it must be strange to be in your 40s and be asked to meet your mom for the first time. But Akane's son is only getting older. Right. A son ought to set his mother's mind at ease before she passes on, don't you think? Wait, how, how close is she to passing on? Well, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? This is just one more way for me to atone for all I've done. You want sick? I'll uh, be booking your flight to Hawaii. You'll leave tomorrow night. Hey, what about my homies? All that's left is how you feel about it. Uh, Will you go? <laughs> Not for me, but for Akane-san. Well, I sort of saw the trailer in, uh... Please, won't you see her, Ichi? I mean, what would you say? Captain... I beg you. Let me think about it. Hmm. I mean, clearly he's gonna go. He, w he would k feel... That was a lot of process, though, you know, man. I never thought I'd see the day you bowed your head to me. First for everything. All right. I'll go see her. Heck yes. Can't say I'm shocked. Well, <laughs> I would have killed you if you'd said no. <laughs> Shut up. You old fart. Oh my god. Oh, if Joe backstabbed us, I'll be so crossed. But genuinely good What's news. Up? Hey, gonna see you're still in one piece. Uh, what is that? Oh god, Ichiban. Uh, were you guys waiting for me? Nama's worried about you. I just realized my Dachi and Namba voice sound identical. I got, I got work on that. Whatever. Nama's worried about you, and I somehow missed my chance to skedaddle. Look who's talking. That's what I was about to say. So, what'd you find out with Sawashiro's special request? Mm. Yeah, about that. Things got a little complicated. You don't say. How about we head over to survive? Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I could, I could go for a drink. <laughs> well, let me, let me get some spare change to afford it first. Uh. We are broke. That is the joke. Let's move on. I see. Sarakawa never found out Akane-san's alive and well. Maybe not. It kind of sounds like it was meant to be. Like they needed an excuse to make another video game, and here we are. Especially since Akane-san wanted to keep Arakawa in the dark. What have you? Okay. Yeah. Things changed after the boss passed. Who knows if she'd want to meet me otherwise. So what are you gonna do? Gonna ship off to Hawaii? Hey. <laughs> sure am! It's not so much that I want to meet my mom. Really, it's more about paying my respects to the woman the boss loved. Kinda my sworn duty, you know? How many sworn duties do you have, Kasuka? Okay. Well, I'm sure she'd like to see her a son after so many years, especially given her age. Wait a minute. You've never been out of the country before, have you? Okay. Yeah, this will be the first. Nice thing is, I've already got the tickets. Captain Sawashiro is taking care of that. Guess all I gotta do is get a taxi and a moth. Sure. Ah, most tourist spots out there will be have a Japanese speaker or two. Huh? Really? Yeah. There's been a lot of Japanese immigrants over the years. Honest. You mentioned traveling abroad to people my age, and the first place they'll think of is Hawaii. You know, all those quiz shows from way back. Grand Prize is usually a vacation to Hawaii or two. Huh. A Hawaii vacation? <laughs> Imagine if you went with Sachan. That'd be something. Dude, why you gotta be like that? Why you, you, already, you already know. You already know what's going on. She's got a job. She can't take a vacation. I don't. So I'm taking a vacation. You little... Like she'd ever say yes to that. I've been on red for weeks. You guys haven't made up. Ugh. The message I sent last year is still more. It's been a year? Uh, like, 
I'm sorry. I would never go somebody for a year. I don't ghost people at all. I tell them straight up, like, dude, I stink. I can't. I don't want to hang out with you. <laughs> really? Ugh. The heck did I do wrong? Hold on. Hey, let me just... Well, let's just forget about that. Yeah, I mean... Ugh. Yeah, sorry. Hey, don't you need a pack? Yeah. Oh, r right. Yeah, packing. Got a pack for your big trip, big guy. And there's some stuff you... To know in advance. Like, watch out for white taxis. What? A lot of folks get scammed. Because crooks, like, think we all look mild-mannered idiots. Mm. White taxis. Okay. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Uh-huh. Listen. Before you shove off, might be a good idea to stop by old Arakawa's grave. You're right. I should. Right? Right? Got it. All right. Well, I'll visit him first thing tomorrow morning. For now, let's call it a night. Wow, they actually were responsible. They didn't drink all night. We're just like, all right, we got to prepare. Hey, now. No sense moping around. Come on. It'll be all three of Thanks. us. You know what? Thanks, guys. Straight up. They're pretty good fellows. Even if they are genuinely yes. stupid when it comes to dating. Well, shall we? I think about this. My first time visiting Arakawa's grave. Yeah, same for me. Yeah. I've been in a while myself. Hang on. I'll get us a cab. I almost read that ass crap. No, we're not quite at the beach yet. I'm taking off, boss. I'm gonna go meet her. Akane-san wants to see me. Arakawa. He had no clue Akane-san was still alive. Nor that you were actually his son. He never knew about any of it. You know, whether I'm the boss's blood or not, I can't actually say. Yeah, only she will know. Honestly, does it even really matter? I mean... Huh? Not really. To the boss, I'm just me. And to me, the boss is just the boss. His blood, my blood, it's not important. It doesn't change a thing. And that's why you won't take a DNA test? If it were me, I don't want to set the record straight. For all I care, I got two dads. I've got the boss right here, and I've got Jiro Kasuga, the man who stepped in when no one else would. That's good enough for me. If you say so. Man, you always got to be so stubborn. You're, you're the, what the? Say, by the way, what's that in your hand? Wait, oh, um, I've got some of the boss's ashes in here. Oh. Dang, cool necklace. Huh. You get that made somewhere? I want to give it to Akane-san. Uh, you know, provided she'll accept it. So that was it, huh? That's what made you decide to go? Maybe. For what it's worth, I thought it might make the boss happy. So, what do you think, boss? Uh, I, I think he's doing the right thing. I hope she accepts the gift. I mean, I don't know. Yakuza games are kind of tragic. You know, it won't be as easy as you make it out to be. Oh, he's got that second grade fit. I don't want to keep a dodgy son in number waiting. Shut out the station and snag a taxi. Dang. So they just... That's it then. We're just not... We're not coming back to... I don't believe that... You! Huh? Uh, What's up, Nancy? Nancy? Okay. Hey! What? That's my pet crawfish, of course. Nancy. I sort of bargained for her life with a homeless fisherman. She's been with me since. Was that mandatory? Namba stuck her in a clay pot as a joke, but turns out she finds it pretty cozy. <laughs> Just never turn that heater on. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to Hawaii, Nancy will need a sitter. Oh, dog. I wonder who I could ask. To, to babysit <sighs> a crawfish. Song, maybe? I guess, yeah, they're staying uh, behind. That a no? Uh, listen, if my stay in Hawaii goes long, you might dry out by the time I'm back. Why don't we just... I mean, what, hey, let's, you know... You can sneak her on. You can hide in your area for a <laughs> Fine, have it your way. We're in this together. You want to come to Hawaii with me? I thought this quest was skippable. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's not. Like, maybe Nancy was so popular. It's just like, no, Be she's canon girl. now. Keep cool, Nancy. So much for side stories not being canon. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> no. 
you know, it's not. I'm kind of unfazed. The second generation of Suji. <laughs> Jeez, what the hell's up with this guy? Uh, just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the York. You say it every day. Does it feel like we've had this conversation before? Yeah, it's a little repetitive. <laughs> Whatever. We know how to handle this. Goodbye. Uh, uh, what outcome man, did what you expect? This problem. I swear, this city's just as ugly as it ever was. Oh, oh a turn called titillator. Professor. Classic. You've not lost a step, Kasuga. How fortunate for us all. <gasps> no. It's been a while, my boy. I, I got a Ew. flight to catch. Can we not do this uh, right now? Who were you again? <laughs> it's me, you fool. Professor Morikasa, the bloody Sujiman Sensei. In case you forgot, which is, is a realistic possibility, Sujiman Sensei is a character that told Ichiban to collect all information on all the Sujiman. And so we did. That's pretty much the end of his story. Right! It's coming back to me now. Well, Kasuga, will you take up the Sujiman cause once more to be the very best? Huh? Uh, sure. Whatever. You do still have the Sujidex installed on your phone, of course. Don't you? Hey, hold on! You... <laughs> you deleted my Sujidex app! All that data! <laughs> Gone. So that was the excuse hey, for me setting. You don't have much space. <laughs> no cloud backup. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, wait, I forgot. I'm planning to go to Hawaii soon. Will this thing even work overseas? <sighs> well, it should, in theory. But why are you headed there, might I ask? I've got some stuff to take care of. My boy. Hawaii is known far and wide as a Sujimon paradise. Oh, how really? convenient. Really? Mm. One could call it an entirely different region of Sujimon. A tropical dreamscape, yet a land of shadows, blessed by the sun and the moon. Hey, yo, chill with the sun and moon talk. I've even heard tell of some sort of Sujimon tournament there. Wait, wait what? Uh, how would that even work? Perhaps. We'll speak more of that when the time comes. Away now, my boy. To Hawaii you go for priceless Sujiman data. Remember, gotta dispatch them all. Become the Sujiman master again. Whatever you say, sense. Later, we do. Going to Hawaii, huh? This might be my one chance to get it all back. What was that about? Uh, anyway. Now, if there's no more distractions in the form of sub-stories to introduce vital gameplay mechanics, they can go to the goddamn airport. I don't know about you guys. I don't look forward to the airport. Because most of the time, I'm not wearing matching socks. Most of the time, I'm late. And the TSA ladies put their paws on my penis. Well, fellas, it's been real. Hey, Ichiban. You sure you got enough stuff with you? I mean, it's Hawaii. <laughs> Not a day trip up to some hot spring. Hey, it's packing light. You stay in there at least a few nights, right? Bring enough change of clothes? <laughs> what are you, my dad? Hey, if I run out, I'll buy some. I hate dragging luggage around. Okay. Look at us. First, we're homeless, and now we're stressing about extra clothes. Hey, you're right. You really moved on up. This might just be the R and R you needed. Take the time to enjoy it. No, oh, and I'm good with any gift. But back in eighty Sure. Thanks, guys. Pick something up. Well, guess I'm off. The re are they really out of the story? No way. Happy travels. I mean, how else are they gonna get there? <laughs> they don't have any money. I just kind of assumed it would be the, you know, the four of us. There you have it. Okay. I'm already up in the air. Huh. All right. Well, all in all, just reflecting on this chapter so far, it's actually good to see that Joe's back and trying to atone. I actually liked his character a lot in the last game, but something about the letter being missing from this, you know, the message part of it. We have the letter. Uh, what's it like? Whoa. 
Man, ain't nothing like a sunrise in Hawaii. <sighs> Dude. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's get it. Like... The past game, like the last game. On behalf of all of our Yakuza crew, 7, right? Thank you for choosing to fly with us I already today. had such a big man. We hope to see you again soon. Now we're in a new... <laughs> Might as well be a new country, bro. <laughs> I mean, it is for Ichiban. Long flight, though, I imagine. It was like eight hours? Please, careful. Hold on. Oh. I'm sorry. Please, just, just wait. Uh, one second. Uh... Need some muscle, boys? <laughs> Mind if I take over? Yes, please. Thank you. No need to be so gentle with it. Just lift him by his belt here. Uh, uh, complete like stranger. Oh. oh, yeah, he's had a lot of experience with... See? You know. Thanks for lending a hand, sir. We appreciate the help. No. If anything, I was being too nosy. <laughs> So I would relatable. call helping a stranger out nosy. I take it you've done this before? Well, an old friend of mine spent most of his life in a wheelchair, so... Ah, uh, yeah, that would do it then. Still calls him his friend. Anyway, Jeez. you here on vacation? Uh, we could say that, yeah. Right on. Well, let's make the most of it, huh? Later. Thanks again. Shaka, bro. Oh, uh, hui ho. Uh, uh, who what now? Uh, uh, uh hui ho. It's like saying, until next time. No. Okay. <laughs> Me. Hey, don't forget your backpack. Oh, uh, wee-ho! I'm going to have to practice saying that so I look like an idiot. <laughs> well, we made a new friend. How about that? We're actually in, we're actually in Hawaii. I, for some reason, I just thought we'd get Shaw on the way there. I don't know. It's just that type of game. You know what I'm saying? Well, I didn't. So let's, uh... Get to what we came here for. Uh, white taxis. Oh, no. That was a lot of white taxis. <sighs> sure would be nice if the taxi driver spoke Japanese. Oh, well. Also, how's the money going to work? Think about it. Oh, my God. Just tells me. <laughs> what is this exchange rate? Uh, all right. Anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody. A brand new map in Yakuza. I need to get out of the street. I might get run over. But our next mission... Can we figure out how to leave the airport without knowing any English? Probably. I mean, this is not the first. We're not the first person to have that issue. All right. See you next time with more. Like a dragon, infinite wealth coming soon. Like probably tomorrow. Bye bye.